right, so we are here with uh, Marty Check and Nick Flies of Pantone Brewing Company. Um, I'm going to ask them a couple questions here about uh, just the history of Pantone and what we got going on. Uh, so the first one here is, uh, how would you say your brewery is connected to or influenced by the history of Stearns County? That one's really easy from a branding standpoint. You know, we created an image and uh, took a lot of influence from our location, being located in the Pantown neighborhood, the old Pan Motor Company area of St. Cloud. Uh, we're built, our building is located on the Pan Motor Company's testing grounds, and as we're putting everything together, if you look at the decor and everything inside the brew house, um, I spent a lot of time at the museum in the research area, archives, pulling together photos, images, clips, information on, on the Pan Motor Company and Sam Pandolfo. And that's, you know, at least from a, a branding standpoint and an image and, and how we portrayed ourselves, that is, is one key way that, that we're tied into Sturge County. And I think you know, Nick would say that he takes some inspiration from... Absolutely, yeah, the history of this, uh, especially the... Right down to the neighborhood brand mm -hmm. is uh, is pretty astounding. Uh, it's one of the reasons I came up here is because of the history of the area. The car company that I did not know existed up here even before we kind of years. One of the things we've talked about before is how innovative Sam Pandolfo was in the motor car he was starting, uh, the, the company he was starting, how he went about framing the company, how he started the company, how he raised money for the company, selling stock one at a time to individual people. It's not something that was really done back then, so that was really innovative. And I think Nick takes the innovations that you know Sam Pandolfo had come up with, and, and we try to do that with how we brew beer and the beers that we brew. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, some of the... I, kind of take some of that, that uh, innovative spirit that's kind of uh, the residual spirit left over in this neighborhood and I try to bring it in as much as I can into the beers that we produce and release to the public. Yeah. All right, so this question is probably more aimed towards Marty in this point, but I'm going to ask it. Uh, it is, what was your inspiration when it came to creating and founding your brewery? Well, that definitely. Um, it's something that, that we thought about, Noel and I talked about quite a bit before we even filed paperwork or, or looked at the location exactly where we were going to be. Um, I tested Noel had Pan Motor or Pantown Brewing Company as his original inspiration and name, I think as far back as 2015, maybe even earlier. Um, and I tested him on it. I, I threw a couple of other ideas at him and tried to tried to knock him off that idea. But every time we came back to it or looked at other ideas, um, Pantown Brewing Company was much more descriptive of who we were and who we wanted to be or where we wanted to be. Um, it got so serious that um, even though the, the brewing equipment and everything that we had were originally going to be in the old O'Hara's building, um, when we took everything out and we looked for a new location, our current location jumped to the top of the list because we we're still located in the Pantown neighborhood. And that this goes back to, I think, both of our histories as realtors, being familiar with the Pantown neighborhood, the homes, um, the location, just it really tied together for us. How do you hope your brewery impacts the future history of Stearns County? I think that I hope that when people talk about St. Cloud in the future, uh, especially among craft beer fans, that you know, they'll say, oh, as long as you're going to St. Cloud, you're going to stop at Pantown. I would, I would really like it if Pantown Brewing became really synonymous with St. Cloud, uh, the way some other breweries are going to be synonymous with the towns that they're in, or New Glarus is synonymous with Wisconsin. I think that would be really fun. How do you hope your brewery impacts the future history of Stearns County? I hope that, uh, you know, when, well, firstly, I hope that the brewery is here for a long time um, and that uh, eventually, you know, uh, kind of like what Marty said, that people will come up here and it's almost like given the second nature that people will want to stop here. Um, and that future generations, you know, that kind of gets, gets passed down, you know, people. Uh, start to learn and uh, bring the past of this area into the future, kind of carry it on. Um, you know, the Pantown neighborhood, it becomes more well-known uh, just outside of St. Cloud and Stearns County in general. Why do you think craft beer and or ciders have been having such a uh, big moment or so over the last decade? I think it's kind of the drive, uh, you know, this, this, this this most recent generation and the prior generation, is, there's a big drive towards like fresh quality local um, 
products, and obviously craft beer fits that that uh, that description pretty well. People want to um, put their money back into the community that they live in, and one of the ways they can do that is by going and supporting local businesses, local breweries, eateries, um, you know, other businesses, little shops, and stuff like that. So I think uh, it's all kind of tied into that kind of mentality. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I would say that the big boom in the last 10 years is really, really tied to to the shopping local movement and, and how that has, has driven a lot of people's purchasing decisions. Uh, craft beer in general, the reason why I think it's it's having such a you know a big moment overall is that people like variety as well. So you see a lot more options at your craft brewery than you do at the beer store. People, you know, not everybody likes the, a light lager. You know, they want to try something different, and craft breweries are able to do that and and do it very well. Uh, breweries always come up with such fun and clever names for their creations. What is one of your favorite beer names, and why? There's a couple. I, the Blue Mountain Road Mulberry Sour is a really sentimental name to me, because that's the road I grew up on, that whole, that, that ties into my sense of home and, and place and where I came from. But most people will look at that and say, oh gosh, that's clever, that's fun. Um, I would have to say it's probably something from our Hazy IPA series, where we, we name beers off of uh, inspirations from 80s movies. And total consciousness is probably one of my favorites. People just love to, to pull Caddyshack after they find out we've named the beer total consciousness. I would have to say probably our 2000 Light Years from Home Pale Ale. Um, I'm a huge Rolling Stones fan, so it kind of comes natural to me that I have to name a beer or two after Rolling Stones lyrics or albums or songs or whatever. Yeah, we have a couple of those too, absolutely. <laughs> 